everybody, and welcome to Pure Chat. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about generating leads and driving sales with live chat on your website. So let's get started. As you can see, we already have our first chat, so all we need to do is click it once and respond. Once that's done, we can see the three main areas of the dashboard. The first one is our operator control panel. Here we'll see all incoming chats, just like we did, other active chats, so those are chats that our teammates are in, any of our chat widgets, which is all of our live chat boxes, and our users. Plus, we can add new users right here as well. In the center section, we have our active chat section. Here you'll just respond to customers, but the more important thing is what's going on in our current chat panel. This will show us what website someone chatted us from if we have live chat boxes on multiple websites. We'll see what page they were coming from. We may want to talk to someone differently if they came from the support page versus the pricing page. This will give us that information so we can tailor our messaging. And beneath that, we can see our chat history. So let's say we talked to someone a few times. Here we can read all of our previous transcripts so we can know how to best help this person that we're talking to. That's the three main sections of the dashboard, our operator control panel, our active chat section, and our current chat panel. So of course, the most important part about the peer chat setup process is actually getting the live chat box code on your website. So in order to do that, we're just gonna click set up peer chat on my website, get started. Once we're here, if you're familiar with HTML and CSS, all you have to do is copy this code and paste it just before the closing body tag of your website. If you'd like it to be on every page, you can paste it inside the footer. Now, if you're not sure what closing body tags are or know anything about HTML, don't worry. We have a button right here to let you email these directions to your webmaster so they can get Pure Chat up and running on your site in just a couple minutes. Now, if you manage a WordPress or Shopify site, we have a couple more shortcuts for you. We actually have free plugins for both of those website builders, so you can add Pure Chat to a WordPress or a Shopify site in just a couple clicks with these links right here. Once Pure Chat is on your site, you're ready to start chatting, so let's go customize our live chat box. The great thing about Pure Chat live chat boxes is that you can customize everything about them. You can customize the color, the design, and you can translate it into another language if you have a lot of international customers. So let's start with some of the universal settings. First, we can name our live chat box. So let's just call it website. We can change the style. We can change the color. So let's change ours to red, for example. As you can see, it updates right here. And we can change the position so we don't cover any crucial information on our website. Once we've done that, we can go down here to these tabs. And these tabs just show us what the live chat box will look like at different parts of the chat. So before a chat, which just means before anyone's clicked on it, this is what our live chat box will look like. You can update it so it's just a tab, just an image, for example, or you can change it to a custom button, which basically means you'll just put a button on your website that says chat with us, and the live chat box won't appear until someone clicks it. For this example, though, let's just stick with image and tab, which is our most popular option. From there, you can choose an animation that'll catch people's attention. You can choose an image. Pure Chat has a bunch of stock images, but instead we wanna upload our own image. If we had a dog grooming business, maybe we'd like a picture of a dog taking a bath. From here, we can adjust where the image is located. and change its size. Awesome, now we're done. Once we're happy with the look of our chat widget, we're gonna come back up here to the tabs, and I'm just gonna quickly go over the next couple for you. Chat open just lets you decide whether or not you wanna start a chat automatically or ask for information. During chat just lets you customize the text that people will see when they start a chat. And then after chat is actually a little more important. By default, Pure Chat shows a thumbs up or thumbs down rating that lets your website visitors let you know if the service they received was awesome or maybe could use some improvement. But we also have this custom link button right here that lets you continue driving people through your sales funnel when they're done chatting. So let's say if we were a dog grooming business, our number one thing we want people to do would be make an appointment. 
All we have to do is update that text and the link, and then as soon as the chat is over, people will automatically be directed to make an appointment from there, so hopefully you can have even more conversions at the end of every chat. Now the next panel we have is the unavailable tab. And this is just what shows when no one's available to chat. And our default is to show an email form. So that means if no one's there to take chats, when someone clicks on your live chat box, it'll pop up and give them an email form so you can still capture their information even when you're not there to chat with them. This is a great opportunity to capture even more leads and hopefully close more sales in the future by responding to some of these requests later on. Our next tab is the triggers tab. And triggers basically allow you to automatically engage website visitors. Our first type of trigger is a page-based trigger, which basically means that if you have it selected, the chat box will pop up if someone's been on your website for longer than 45 seconds, and you can change this time frame, or if someone's been on any single page for longer than a certain amount of time. So this just allows you to engage more customers and see how people are doing. Our other type of trigger is a page-based trigger. So let's say if you have an e-commerce website, you can have your chat box pop up every time it gets to the cart page. Now after 10 seconds of someone being on the cart page, the live chat widget will pop up and try to engage them. This is especially important in these type of situations because for example, shopping carts have a 72% abandon rate. That means 72% of people that get to the shopping cart will leave before they've completed a purchase. But if you can immediately answer their questions, you may be able to reduce this number for you. We also have three other tabs up here, but I'm gonna let you explore those on your own. For now, we're gonna go down and hit save. Now that we know what our live chat box looks like, we're gonna come over to canned responses. And canned responses are basically just pre-baked answers we have to some of our customers' most common questions. For many businesses, there are about five frequently asked questions that come up often, and you wanna be able to craft a really solid answer to those questions that your team can use immediately. So if we create a new canned response, let's say for our dog grooming business, a lot of people ask, how can I make an appointment? I can set it so that my whole team can use this answer, and then I'll say, you can make an appointment at purechat.com slash appointment. Now that I've saved this answer, anytime someone asks this question, I can start typing in this response and it'll auto-populate so I can get back to them instantly. Now there are a bunch of other settings here in the manage section, manage sections right over here, like operator statistics, transcripts, we can add more team members from here, we can update our time zone, we can add integrations, and we can update our plan if we want unlimited chats or unlimited chat boxes, for example. But for now, we're gonna jump back over to our dashboard. Now, as you can see, we've officially set up PeerChat on our website. The second panel over here asks you to set up your personal chat page. Now, personal chat pages are one-page websites that you can share so people can reach you specifically. We already have a tutorial created on this, so feel free to check out our YouTube channel and learn more about personal chat pages. But for now, we're gonna move on up to our profile menu and learn about notifications. So in order to get to our notifications, we're gonna click on my settings and click over here to notifications. Notifications are what let you know if you have a chat so that way you don't miss anything. Every time you miss a chat, you're missing a potential sale. So it's really important that you're tuned in to when people are trying to communicate with you. That being said, we automatically enable desktop notifications for your browser, so that way you get a little visual ping every time someone's trying to reach out to you. Similarly, we also have audio notifications, so that way if, maybe if you're not looking at your screen but you have your headphones on, you can get a little alert that lets you know, hey, someone's trying to communicate with you about your business. Another great form of notifications that we have is our SMS notifications. So I know for me, I'm not always paying attention to my computer, but I am always paying attention to my phone. What I can do with SMS notifications is say, if no one's responded to a message within 30 seconds or 50 seconds, send me a text that allows me to respond instantly. So if I enter my phone number here, it'll send me a text message to verify. And once I verified, every time I'm close to missing a chat, it'll send me a message that has a link to the Pure Chat app in it, 
When I click that link, it'll open up the PureChat mobile app, which we have free apps for iOS, Android, and Kindle, so I can start responding to that customer immediately and make sure I don't miss a chat. So these type of notifications are just another great way to make sure you're staying tuned in to all the people who are trying to communicate with you through your website. So now that we have notifications figured out, we're gonna hit save. And we're gonna go over the last thing, which is scheduling. So in order to receive chats, you have to be available. But we know as business owners, you can't always remember to set yourself available or unavailable every day when there's a lot of things going on. So what we allow you to do is actually set your schedule on a weekly basis. That means if you tend to work eight to five, Monday through Friday, you can set your schedule like that. If potentially you work every day of the week, you can set your schedule so that you go available at certain times every single day. However often you wanna interact with customers, feel free to set your schedule accordingly. Just make sure that you set the proper time zone, otherwise you may be set available at strange times. That's the Pure Chat fundamentals. Once you know how to operate the dashboard, you've installed the live chat box on your website, you've customized your live chat box, you've set up notifications, and you've set your schedule, you're ready to start interacting with customers and driving sales with live chat on your website. Thank you so much for listening. We look forward to having you as a Pure Chat user. Don't hesitate to chat us with the live chat box that's on our website at purechat.com or email us at support at purechat.com.